Hey, what's up, Scream fans? Today we are ranking all the ghost faces from the Scream franchise, from the best all the way down to the worst, and we're doing Scream 1 through Scream 6, so let's do this. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Nick Push. As I'm ranking these ghost faces via tier list, do me a favor down in the comments, tell me your favorite ghost face, and also tell me your least favorite ghost face. And as we get into this, it goes without saying, this is just my opinion. So if you have a problem with that, you have a couple of options. Number one, you can fuck off. And number two, you can get a life. It's just you two people, let's relax a little bit. That being said, I do love hearing your guys' opinions, so make sure you comment down below. It's fun talking horror, it's fun talking movies, and it's fun talking Scream. All right, we are going to get right into this list. First up is going to be Mickey. By the way, the categories, as you can see, are best, great, good, eh, and fucking garbage. Where does Mickey fall? Mickey obviously is from Scream 2. I wish Mickey got a little bit of screen time. Uh, Timothy Oliphant is one of the best actors for acting skill in this franchise, uh, but he didn't really have too much to do. I'm going to put him in good, but he's teetering to eh. Um, next, we got Mrs. Loomis, or as you may know her as, Billy's mother. Mrs. Loomis, batshit crazy, just like her son. Uh, I will be honest, when I first saw this movie all the way back in 1997, I was kind of eh on her. I was like, really? The mother? Really? Uh, the aunt from Roseanne? She has really, really grown on me, though, as the franchise has moved on. I am going to move her into the great category. Next, we have Dermot Mulroney. Uh, Detective Bailey, I think his name is. The fact that I don't completely think understand his name or completely remember his name tells you where he belongs he is eh. and i'm also downgrading him a little bit because i saw him at a convention uh the other day or not the other day last year i saw him at a convention and seemed like a great guy so that's not why i'm downgrading him but he's really short he is a tiny guy so not too intimidating uh detective bailey is eh for me next we have everybody's favorite is he dead isn't he dead i'm of course talking about Stu mocker uh, Stu, not the smartest tool in the shed, but he is a fan favorite, and for good reason. He's Matthew Lillard. He is probably the most, uh, or tied for the most memorable ghost face. Uh, as much as I'm not a huge, crazy Stu fan, like I know a lot of people are, a lot of people watching this video think he's going to come back. I'm mixed on that. Um, but the question you're asking, the question we're doing today is where does Stu belong in here? Uh, he is obviously going to be fucking, I'm kidding, people. Calm down. Stop typing. Calm down. Uh, because he's memorable, we're going to put him up in the great category. He's really memorable. A lot of great lines, a lot of great scenes, okay? Next, we have Charlie from Scream 4, played by Macaulay Culkin's brother, Rory Culkin. Uh, another one that has changed over time for me. Uh, I probably would have put him next to Dermot Moroney if you would have asked me two years ago. Um, but... Uh, a friend of the channel, Sister Pam, I had her on here uh, a number of months back. She has made a case for him, and she has compelled me. Uh, the way I think about him now is he's kind of like uh, Darth Vader to Jill's Palpatine, if you're a Star Wars fan. He is the general. He did all the dirty work. He was badass. Scream 4 has some extremely brutal, brutal fucking kills, uh, especially the Olivia kill. Uh, so he has moved up into good for me. Next, we have Jack Quaid, Dennis Quaid's son. Where does he belong? Another one, eh, kind of mixed. Uh, um, Scream 6 might have done him some justice based on the motivations of those killers. Um, I really liked his motivation. Uh, it's one of my favorites, and it's kind of come into fruition now with you know, if you've been following social media on the Scream franchise with a lot of uh, people, uh, unfortunately, taking things too far and attacking people because of this, that, and that. Um, not getting into it, just saying. Um, but I, I think I'm going to put him up in the good category. Next, we have Sydney's long-lost brother, Roman. I hate when franchises do something where... You know, something you didn't know before. Oh, she actually has a brother. 
uh, or a sister, a twin sister. You know, it's like fucking 1990s soap operas. Uh, that being said, though, Roman does get points because he did all of his killing, all of his planning. He did it solo. I also don't like the fact, though, that they said that he uh, helped push Billy and Stu um, and helped them out. I don't like that part. part. Um, but because he was solo, I'm going to put him in the eh category. Not a big fan of Roman. Next, we have Jill. I fucking adore Jill as Ghostface. She goes absolutely batshit crazy. Um, is she intimidating? No, she's you know a smaller chick. You know, not too intimidating. But I won't fuck with her. I'll tell you that she will cut your fucking balls off. That's how crazy she is. I'm not gonna put her in best, but she's all the way up in great. Uh, she is actually my second favorite ghost face. Next, we got Billy Loomis. Um, do I even need to say anything? Billy's the best. He's the best ghost face. Uh, he's pretty fucking evil. He's brutal. Uh, you know, he is the reason this franchise uh, got started, right? You know, he, his motivation, his motive, killing Sydney's mother uh, because she was a fucking tramp, right? Or his dad was a jackass. But either way, um, you know, he's the one that started this. He's the one that kind of set Sydney on this path to be a survivor, to be uh, arguably the best final girl. It's all because of the emotional trauma she went through with Billy. Next, we have Bailey. She was successful at faking her death. That's it. She's fucking garbage. Moving on. Next, we have Ethan, Jack Quaid, the guy that saved Mindy in the train when nobody was around because reasons? Fucking terrible. Fucking terrible. Dumb. Dumb. And finally, we have Amber from Scream 5. Just like Jack Quaid's character, Richie, um, you know, her motivation, uh, like I said, I loved I loved it. She had a pretty cool death scene kind of being uh, set on fire. That being said, I thought she was quite fucking obviously Ghostface. They had the great turn, you know, with the gun right at the end. You already knew that, though. You know, she was just an angry weirdo the whole fucking movie. Um, I think Amber's fucking garbage. I'm just, just going to say it. I think she is fucking garbage. Um, so that is my list. That is my tier list of all the ghost faces in the Scream franchise. Just to recap, Billy Loomis is the best. Uh, next tier in the great tier, we have Billy's mother, we have Stu, and we have Jill. In the good tier, we have Mickey, we have Charlie, and we have Richie. All end in a Y or IE. Coincidence? No. Uh, and then we have in the ant tier, we have Detective Bailey and Roman. And in the fucking garbage tier, we have Bailey. We have um, Ethan, and we have Amber. That is my list. Tell me your list down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.